Hey all, Chris from Science of Speed. In a previous video, we've shown how the Science of Speed Sport downpipes improve sound and performance from the second generation NSX. Today, we'd like to show you the required installation steps to install the Science of Speed Sport downpipes in a reasonable amount of time. Let's get started. The first step is to remove the wheels and fender liners. The bumper will be removed with the diffuser in place. Remove the lower bolts as shown in the diagram. Next, the screw and bolt will be removed that secure the bumper. Disconnect the bumper's electrical connector as shown. Next, slip the bumper's side tab around the bracket as shown to aid the bumper removal. Using masking tape, mask the areas where the bumper mates to the fender and taillights. Slip the tape around the corners of the bumper where the taillights meet in order to prevent scratches. Next, using soapy water or window cleaner, spray the joint before removal. This will aid in removing the bumper and reduce wear on the retainers. Give the sides of the bumper a tug, then pull the bumper off the retainers. If the bumper feels like it is hanging up around the taillights, stop and carefully adjust and retry to prevent the paint from cracking on the bumper around the taillights. Next, the exhaust will be removed. Remove the absorber by lifting up and pulling away. Then, remove the six bolts that secure the bumper beam and free the beam from the muffler's hangers. Next, to remove the exhaust muffler, coat the nuts with penetrating oil. Disconnect the connectors from the exhaust valves, remove the wire harness from the brackets, and tuck the wire harness up and away. Break the nuts loose with a hand tool and remove. Use silicone spray on the exhaust hangers to aid removal. Remove the exhaust muffler. Next, the factory air cleaner boxes will be removed to gain access to the tops of the downpipes. Remove the engine bay panels as shown in the next steps. Next, the air cleaner boxes will be removed. Disconnect the MAF sensor harness and unclip the top air cleaner lid and remove from the vehicle. Remove the side intake ducts as shown. Next, remove the air cleaner, then remove the bottom housing. Once the air cleaner box is removed, remove the lower heat shields as shown. With the downpipes now exposed, disconnect the primary oxygen sensor connector as shown, then using a deep oxygen sensor socket, remove the sensor from the downpipes.
There are two brackets that secure the downpipes to the engine and transmission. We will remove the front bracket first as shown. Once the nut and washer that secures the bracket to the cylinder head is removed, we can then remove the bolt securing the downpipe. A breaker bar may be required to remove the bolt from the downpipe. If it is seized, apply and let penetrating oil soak into the threads before removal. Remove the two M6 bolts as shown to remove the plastic air duct. Next, the heat shields will be removed. First, loosen, do not remove, the two lower M6 bolts on the engine bay side of the heat shield. Then, remove the two top bolts on the engine bay side of the heat shield. Carefully slide the heat shield up and out as shown. Next, the heat shields around the turbine housing and downpipes will be removed. Remove the bolt securing the top heat shield and remove the heat shield. Then remove the bolt securing the lower heat shield and remove that heat shield. With the four locking flange nuts that secure the downpipe to the turbine housing exposed, apply a liberal amount of penetrating oil to the nuts and allow to soak for an hour or longer if possible. Next, the rear bracket that secures the downpipe to the transmission will be removed. Start by removing the bolt that secures the bracket to the transmission from the rear of the car. Then, remove the downpipe side bolt from the engine bay and remove the bracket. Next, the rear secondary oxygen sensor connectors will be disconnected. To access the right side connector, remove the trunk trim panel as shown by unthreading the fasteners and putting tension on the fastener by lifting the panel out as shown. When all eight are removed, remove the upper trim panel and carpet front panel. Remove the access panel as shown. Once the panel is removed, reach in and disconnect the electrical connector as shown. Next, follow the wire harness down and unclip the harness from the retainer bracket. From the rear of the vehicle, Follow the right side secondary oxygen sensor wire harness to find the second retainer and unclip the harness from the bracket. Move to the left side and from the rear, disconnect the connector and unclip the harness from the retaining bracket. Next, the flange nut securing the downpipe to the turbine housing will be removed to release the downpipe. From the side of the vehicle, remove the flange nuts and note that the factory studs become brittle with heat. If the nut starts to seize, thread the nut back to fasten it reapply penetrating oil, and retry. Once the nuts are removed from the rear of the vehicle, pull the downpipe out about 6 inches, then rotate the downpipe by about 180 degrees and remove the downpipe completely. Next, the heat shields will be removed from the downpipe. Do one downpipe at a time to prevent mixing components up from left to right. Thoroughly soak each of the M6 bolts. Allow some time for the penetrating oil to sink in. Break the M6 bolts loose using a hand tool. Remove all of the M6 bolts securing the heat shields. With an oxygen sensor socket, 
remove the secondary oxygen sensor from the downpipes. Thoroughly wipe down the heat shields and science of speed downpipes with brake cleaner solvent to remove the penetrating and manufacturing oils. Identify the left and right science of speed downpipes. Note that the secondary oxygen sensors point inwards to the engine and can be identified this way. Apply a small amount of anti-seize paste to the secondary oxygen sensors and install the sensor to the rear threaded boss. Consult the supplied insulation manual for all torque values for these sensors and all fasteners. Note that all of the nuts, bolts, bracket, and crush ring as shown in the diagram are replaced with new supplied components and the factory components are not reused. Install the front heat shields into place. Apply anti-seize paste to each bolt and secure the heat shields in place. Repeat the process for the rear heat shields. Next, the supplied studs will be installed. Note the photo for the left and right downpipes. The longer stud will be installed into the lower inner hole. Install the studs with a stud insulation tool, or as shown in the video, by using two nuts jammed together. Apply anti-seize paste to the threads and install the stud into place. Repeat the process for the shorter studs. The tab indicated on the gasket is positioned at the top. Install the gasket into the place as shown. Apply anti-seize paste to the threads as shown. Install the studs into the outlet flange. Apply anti-seize paste to the stud in the turbine flange. Next, to install the downpipes from the rear of the vehicle, rotate the downpipe 180 degrees pointing downwards and install until the downpipe is about 6 inches from the turbine flange. Rotate the downpipe into place when the downpipe is about 6 inches from the flange and secure the downpipes using the supplied flange nuts. Note that the rear brackets are replaced with the supplied brackets and have a different shape from left to right as shown in the photo. Install the brackets from the rear of the vehicle. Secure the transmission side first, then secure the downpipe side next. Secure the bolts to the required torque value. Install the lower heat shield from the side of the vehicle and the upper heat shield from the engine bay. Important. Please note that the two rear bolts used to secure the upper heat shield are replaced with the supplied bolts. The factory bolts are not reused. Next, install the side heat shield and duct, primary oxygen sensor and connector, then the mounting brackets reusing the factory hardware. Next, replace the secondary oxygen sensor harness to the retaining brackets, mate the connectors, and replace the access panel, carpet, and trim panel. Next, install the air cleaner box heat shields, housing, air cleaner and covers, replacing intake duct, intake tube, and math wire harness. Replace the exhaust muffler, attach the beam to the muffler hangers, and secure the beam and absorber. Before replacing the bumper, Start the engine to verify that there are no exhaust leaks or diagnostic codes on the dash. To replace the bumper, first, thoroughly coat the bumper retainers with soapy water or glass cleaner as shown. Replace the bumper, making sure to slip the diffuser under the panel as shown. 
slip the bumper's mounting tab in front of the bracket and mate the electrical connector. Pop the center of the bumper into place around the taillights, then secure the sides of the bumper into place as shown. Remove the masking tape and clean off any residue. Secure the bumper fasteners, replace the fender liners and wheels. Finally, replace the engine covers. Installation is now complete. Some smoke from residual oils will burn off in the next heat cycles. Enjoy your new Science of Speed Sport downpipes.